Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Math TV. Today, I would like to share how to determine the highest common factor and the lowest common multiple of two numbers. In this video, I'm going to apply the prime factorization method. Let's start with 220. Since this is even number, I'm going to take a factor of 2. And we should have 110. Since 2 times 110 equal to 220. Again, even number, so we can take prime factor of 2. And the result should have 55. So next, I'm going to take a factor of 5 and the result is equal to 11. Since 11 is a prime number, which means that we should have factor of 11 and 1. Once we obtain a quotient of 1, which means that we can stop here. In other words, 220 can be written as 2 square since we have 2 times 2 equivalent to 2 square times 5 times 11. Next, let's proceed to 284. This is an even number. I'm going to take a factor of 2 as well and we should obtain 142. Another even number, so let's take a factor of 2 and the result should be 71. Since 71 is a prime number, which means that the factors should be the number itself, 71. 1 and 1. Since we have quotient 1, so we can stop here. And now we can conclude that 284 can be written as 2 squared times 71. Since we have obtained all the prime factors for the two numbers, and we can now determine the highest common factor of 220 and 284. Let's compare factors. The biggest common factor that we can see here is 2 squared. So which means that we have 2 squared is equal to 4 is the highest common factor. Now let's proceed to lowest common multiple of 220 and 284. Let's compare the factor as well. And this is equal to the product of all the factors that we can see. Although 2 squared appear 2 times, we could take only 1 since they consider exactly the same factor. So we have 2 squared followed by the next factor which is 5 and we have 11 and 71. And this is equal to 15,620 and hence we done. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a like this. See you.